I'm Joe Kirshner with American Water College. Watch as I use my five-step approach to solve this problem. Calculate the water level in a tank that measures 50 feet long by 25 feet wide by 15 feet deep if 50,000 gallons of water are in the tank. What does this look like? Here we have a rectangular tank and it's 50 feet long, it's 25 feet wide, and it's 15 feet deep. But then they told us that there's 50,000 gallons of water in the tank. So on a problem like this, you have a width and a length that is fixed. Can't change that. The 25 feet and the 50 feet, those cannot change. The only thing that changes is the water level. As you add more water, obviously the level goes up. So depending upon how many gallons are in this tank will determine what level the water is. So to solve this, what we'll do is we'll convert our volume in gallons to cubic feet. And once we know how many cubic feet this volume of water occupies, we can divide out the width and the length Okay, so if we have cubic feet, we can divide out the length and the width, and that'll give us the final height or the depth of the water that's in the tank. So here's how I'd solve this problem. I'd use the formula that says volume is length times width times depth, and I'm going to solve for the depth. So first I need to know how many cubic feet is 50,000 gallons. So I'm going to convert 50,000 gallons to cubic feet using the equivalent that says there's 7.48 gallons for every cubic foot. You can see that the gallons will divide out. So if I take my 50,000 and I divide it by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot, that'll give me a total of 6,684 cubic feet in the tank. So that's how much water's in the tank. Well, now that I know that I have 6,684 cubic feet, to, to get that cubic feet, I would normally go length times width times depth. So I'm gonna kind of reverse that. And I'm simply gonna divide this total cubic feet by the length and the width, and that will give me the depth. So I'm going to divide the 6,684 cubic feet by my 25 foot width and my 50 foot depth, or I'll multiply those together before I divide it into 6684. And when I do that, I come up with 5.35 feet. Well, let's see how that looks kind of plain Jane, how you might have to work it out uh, on your own without the drawing. Same problem, we're calculating the water level in this 50 foot by 25 foot by 15 foot deep tank, and there's 50,000 gallons of water in the tank. So using the five step approach, step one has us pulling the numbers and the units out of the problem. So we're gonna write down our known and our unknown information. Well, they want us to calculate the water level in the tank. So we write that down. We're looking for the water level in feet. Then they tell us the dimensions of the tank. It's 50 feet by 25 by 15 feet deep. And keep in mind, they'll give you information that you don't necessarily need. This 15 foot depth really isn't necessary because it's not totally full. This is how deep the water would be if it's totally full. We're really only interested in the width and the length. And then they also told us there's 50,000 gallons that is in this tank. So we write all that down. So now we've got the numbers that we're uh, going to work with or choose from to work with. So that is step one. Step two is our formula. Well, we're dealing with volume of a rectangular tank. So the volume formula for a rectangular tank is volume equals length times width times depth. And what we're looking for is the depth. They told us the volume, 50,000 gallons. They told us the length, 50 feet, and they told us the width, 25 feet. So uh, under exam conditions, you could take that 50,000 gallons and plug it in here, 
take your length of 50 feet, plug it in here, and your width of 25 feet and plug it in here. But you'll notice you've got units of feet over here and units of gallons over here. So you're going to need to convert this 50,000 gallons to cubic feet so that your units agree before you can do the math on this. But if you did that, you could say, well, 50 times 25 times what will give me this volume in cubic feet. But the way we do this using the five-step approach is we rearrange the formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by length and width, or we'll use what I call a diagonal rule, and we'll move the length and the width to the bottom of the other side. And that just basically rearranges this formula to solve for depth. So in step three, we take our volume and we divide it by the length and the width, and that will give us the water depth. But remember, we need our units to agree, so that 50,000 gallons has to get converted to cubic feet before we can plug these numbers in. So I'm going to do a side problem where I convert 50,000 gallons to cubic feet, and I use that equivalent that says there's 7.48 gallons for every one cubic foot. This allows my gallons to divide out, and I'm left with units of cubic feet. So 50,000 divided by 7.48 is 6,684 cubic feet. I can now take that 6684 and plug it in as my volume, and then I'll divide it by my 25 foot width and my 50 foot length. So that is step four. Step four, we plug in our numbers and do the math. So in my calculator, I'm going to enter 6684 and then I'll go divided by 25, divided by 50. Another way to do it is you can multiply 25 times 50. It equals, so you get that total. Then divide 6684 by whatever you got when you multiplied 25 times 50. But try it both ways. And, and you'll see that if you go 6684 divided by 25, divided by 50, just exactly as I said it, then hit equals, you'll get 5.35 feet. If you need additional help preparing for a state license exam, click the link below and we'll get you some more information about our license-specific exam prep courses.